This is RadioFire.com, of course. Yours truly, Dime K, in here as always. RadioFire.com, the Diamond K Show.com. And uh, I am glad uh, to be with you here. So, Radio on Fire talks to America through digital news programs and social media content. We are a rising multimedia platform that generates over 350,000 views a month through our audio and video streams from politics, breaking news, celebrity info, sports talk, or pop culture. Radio on Fire keeps our audience covered. So earlier this week, when Donald Trump's younger brother, Robert, was hospitalized, we did not know what was going to be the outcome, whether he was going to make a recovery or not. But President Trump's younger brother, who served as a top executive at the Trump Organization, has died. He was 72 years old. His death today comes after this hospitalization in New York. He spent more than a week in intensive care back in June at Mount Sinai Hospital. It is with a heavy heart I shared that my wonderful brother Robert peacefully passed away tonight, the president said in a statement. He was not my brother, he was my best friend. The president continued, he will be greatly missed, but we will meet again. His memory will live on in my heart forever. Robert, I love you, rest in peace. The president said, Robert Trump, who took blood thinners, had experienced brain bleeds that began after a recent fall, according to close family friends. The White House did not give a cause of death, which has led some to speculate that Trump's younger brother died of coronavirus. However, this has not been confirmed. Robert Trump was born in 1948, the youngest of Fred and Mary Trump's five children. Of course, behind Marianne, Fred Jr., Elizabeth, and of course, Donald Trump. Uh, he followed in Donald's footsteps, working in the family real estate business known as the Trump Organization. And he held senior positions, including executive vice president back in the 80s. He had uh, headline, made some headlines when he had a divorce in uh, 2008 from Blaine Trump. Supported a lot of charities. Was a regular uh, donator to the Republican candidates and state committees. His uh, president brother, Sue, well, he was a candidate at the time. Uh, but back in 2016, he was excited and one of the early believers of Donald Trump supporting him a thousand percent and uh, and all that I mean family family tends to do that last month Robert issued a defense of his brother and their late father against allegations from their niece Mary Trump who released the tell-all book a memoir and uh, she talked about the president despising weakness I think that that's something that we already knew mary's book which was called too much and never enough how my family created the world's most dangerous man that was something that robert trump tried to fight from getting out he was obviously unsuccessful arguing that the publication of the book would violate 2001 non-disclosure agreement barring her from speaking publicly about family members. Well, the judge did not agree with that. Mary, of course, is the daughter of Robert and Donald's late brother, Fred Jr., who died of alcoholism back in 1981 at 43 years of age. So White House has not revealed, released the cause of death. Uh, was it coronavirus? I'm sure that Many people want to know the answer to that. How ironic would it be that the president has lost another close advisor, a close confidant to coronavirus? That would be ironic, 
But of course, it is not. We don't know yet. Robert Trump is survived by his sisters. And uh, his sister, Marianne, is a retired senior judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. Elizabeth Trump, a retired Chase Manhattan Bank executive. And of course, Donald Trump. Uh, of course, uh, I always sympathize and empathize with anyone losing a loved one uh, or family member. Let me know thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Diamond K Show, at Radio on Fire. You can always support the program via Cash App, dollar sign DJ Diamond K. Of course, your donations help us continue to do what we do here on the Diamond K Show, and that's to bring you independent news and progressive opinion on politics, social issues, and entertainment. Follow the Diamond K Show on Spotify or your favorite podcast network. New shows drop daily at Radio on Fire and the Diamond K Show.com. For booking info or media questions, contact me at DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. Until next time, if you see it, then you can be it. It is all about having a vision. My name is Diamond K. Salute to you guys, and I will see you next time.